Hey guys, it is Alexis and Lillian and today this is going to be our last video that we're going to be filming in our beautiful Berlin apartment because we're actually getting ready to go on a big trip tomorrow morning 9 a.m. <sighs> we're flying off to Bali and then we're going to South Africa after and we're going to be gone for three months at least. We don't have a return ticket. We are very stressed out right now. It's like insane. I was like losing my mind earlier um, and we're still packing. So basically we thought we'd do a little video to show you guys what we're packing for this trip. We're gonna be gone for over three months, like I said. So you have to be very strategic in the decisions on what you're taking and what you're leaving. And I'm so bad at this. I'm pretty sure I have to go through my bag again oh and take out like a God. lot of things. Like she was wanted to take her whole crystal collection. I'm like, Alexis, crystals are rocks and they're heavy. <laughs> so. And I'm the opposite. I'm like, I only need one sock. And then when I'm there, I'm like, Alexis, can I have some of your clothes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> we both have a backpack each, mm -hmm. uh, carry on size. So it's pretty crazy to think that that's all we're gonna have with us. And another thing that we really wanted to focus on is sustainability and really, really trying to reduce our carbon footprint because obviously, you know, things are happening and climate change is real, people. Going on such a long flight and traveling around the globe isn't very sustainable in the first place. But we also believe that it isn't like a black or white thing. Like it's not like, oh, if you're going on this trip, you can't be sustainable at all. Sometimes you do things mindlessly. You don't even think about mm -hmm. it, you know? And then it's like, oh, actually there's another option. And yeah. just like being more aware of it. I think that's the first step. Yeah. I actually was holding back watching the documentary, The True Cost for a really, really long time. And then because I knew it was going to have such an effect on me, um, but yes, so if you haven't watched it, please watch it. It's a huge eye-opener. So the whole thing when you're going on a trip like this, you don't have a lot of space. You're going to be carrying it on your back. It shouldn't be heavy. And also, it's so annoying when you're traveling and then you're looking for something and you have so much shit in your backpack and then it all comes out and then you're just like, I'm so done. But that's why we're super excited that this time we're taking packing cubes with us. So you can have your little cubes mm -hmm. or big cubes. <laughs> know what's in them these are my clothes that's my underwear that's the cosmetics that's electronics then you just look in those and also just putting it together so it's, it's like a little tetris game yeah so this is our cosmetics packing cube mm -hmm. yeah we got a lot of things in there got some cute little reusable panty liners we haven't tried them yet yeah so that should be exciting i hope they work nice um, yeah you can like clip them under your unders uh, for the thong and the two bigger ones you just wash them good to go use them again this is probably not uh good for when you're like fully menstruating <laughs> yeah but we also have our diva cup slash just menstrual cups that we're not gonna show, but I've been using one for over seven years. It takes some getting used to, but it, it makes works. your life easier, mm -hmm. it's so much less waste, so much like, not all that toxic shit that you're putting into your body. Yeah. Plus like, imagine us having to carry around all these tampons now, oh my God. Another thing that we're pretty excited to be trying out is we got one of the scrubber wash bags. You guys may be familiar with them already. I had no idea what this was. We got the wash and dry kit, mm -hmm. but what it is, it's a bag, you fill it up with water and has like a washboard inside and then you just scrub it like two minutes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you wash your clothes. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be crucial for us because yeah. if you're gone for such a long time, I mean at the hotels, you can pay for laundry and stuff like that, but we also don't have that much stuff. Sometimes you just need to clean your underwear and we really don't want to be hauling to the laundromat all the time. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. It comes with this clothesline and inflatable hangers and yeah, it's really, really cool, this whole kit thing and how, yeah, it's made for this exact purpose. So this is all the clothes that I'm taking. So I have to reduce it to just a few outfits. Um, 
I took one pair of black pants two or three shorts mm -hmm. and then a few shirts i mean most of it is black yeah um so when it comes to what i'm bringing i have a lot of things in my bag but i'm like gonna reduce it honestly i was thinking about it i'm like okay i just need the the tones the colors that i like did i just pair, inspire you a pair of jeans no <laughs> So yeah, pair of jeans, pair of shorts. Um, I'm also gonna bring a skirt. Most of the stuff that I'm bringing is just clothes that I've had for a while, some favorites. Um, but a new brand that I've added is Kaffin, short for Catching a Fish in Norway. They make sustainable and ethically made streetwear. It's run by a little collective um, artists and supporting artists. So I'm pretty excited to be wearing their stuff. The other new addition is Honest Basics. They make um, basics. basics. So yeah. So just like your typical tanks. I think they also make leggings and stuff like that. They're all organic cotton and they are sustainable and ethically made. Their clothes are not expensive. Like mm -hmm. a shirt like that is at like 10, 12 euros or something like that and it's good quality, so yeah. there is no excuse, you know? Swimwear. Oh. There are a lot of great brands, actually, mm -hmm. that do um, sustainable swimwear. A lot of them do the whole thing that they do it out of recycled like bottles from and... ocean waste. Yeah. So one of the brands is Laundry. They're based in Vancouver, fellow Canadians. <laughs> All their swimwear is made from recycled ocean waste. Mm -hmm. So they have super nice designs. You know, I used to buy a bikini every year and then toss it out and then buy a new one next year. Mm -hmm. Not with these ones, I'm gonna keep these. Yeah, and you can like tell when you have it on, it's good quality, it's not gonna yeah. be slipping off or like falling off. It'll or... you're like mold into it. By the mm -hmm. way, these aren't granny panties, they're just high-waisted. <laughs> Or What's is, wrong with or granny, panties? granny panties? I don't know. I have a couple pairs of those. Uh, <laughs> yes, we all saw it in the morning routine. The other brand is Und, which apparently stands for undressed. Oh. And that's where I have this beautiful one piece from. I'm pretty excited about it. And a really nicely made, feels a little lighter. And it said that you can wear it both ways inside out. Everything is made by artisans in Italy. Um, and all made from, again, recycled materials. I haven't worn a one piece in a while, so I think I look pretty good in it. You might see some shots of us wearing them. So while we're in Bali, I'm gonna be doing my 200 hour yoga certification, finally. Um, so I'm going to be bringing a travel mat, which is called the Echo Mat. It is all made of recycled materials. Um, it's super thin. Yeah, it's like you can like foam it up too thin. thin. Shoes. Uh, shoes are a little tricky because they take away a lot of space. They can be pretty heavy, but depending on what you're doing and where you are, you might need pretty different kinds of shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Like flip flops are only get you that far. <laughs> so I decided to narrow it down to three pairs of shoes. Plus flip flops. Those don't count. <laughs> they count. No, they're so small. <laughs> so I got these nice. Ooh. eco elves the nice thing is that you don't need you can use them with socks but you don't need socks with them they're kind of like a sock shoe kind of thing but not an obnoxious one at least i hope <laughs> there's some strips so that people see me in the dark oh yeah <laughs> and yeah they're super comfy so i'm pretty excited about these i hope they won't get super dirty right away so then as sandals we both have some mohinders uh, we've got some of these like Slide-ons. Their shoes are handmade in India, actually, out of water buffalo leather. Mohinders is another brand that focuses on sustainability. Their shoes are made out of leather, so a lot of people are like, well, leather isn't really sustainable, and also it's not very ethical, and mm -hmm. things like that. The thing is that the leather that they use isn't uh, mass-produced leather, so it isn't cow leather that has been bleached and been used with all these um, harmful substances. And, and they will last you literally a long, long, long time. Yeah. Yeah, they're not just gonna fall apart. Like they literally mold to your foot. Yeah, so. it's really good quality. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for some shoes with which I can go on hikes, but I don't wanna take like a huge hiking shoe, you mm -hmm. know? So Alexa's inspired me. She got these um, secondhand uh, Teva sandals. Yeah. I got mine, let me just say for, how much did I pay for them? Did you say 10? 10, I paid 10 That's euros. That's crazy. And she got them secondhand, so that obviously is more sustainable. Well, I was trying, I couldn't find any my size. Um, she really was trying, like looking. So like. I had to get them new, and Teva, I looked it up, is not a sustainable brand, so 
Yeah, and her um, feet are so sensitive. It's crazy. Like I'm just like walking on the rocks everywhere at the beach, and she's like, yeah. Ah! So the Estevas, not sustainable, unfortunately, but they have a good grip on the sole. At least I haven't tried them yet, but it looks like it, and that's what the reviews said. <laughs> And they also, if you guys know me, I love to wear black and they don't look so horrible. So I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these a lot even yeah. just to walk through town and stuff. Um, what's also pretty cool is that you can take off the back and then you can just have Jesus. them as a sandal. You can just like slide into them, yeah, as a sandal, so. But yeah, mine are <laughs> your typical like dad on vacation sandal. Um, but, but I hey. was I was so proud of her when I saw that she got those and I didn't even have to convince him like damn practicality over fashion I think you've been living in Germany for too long. I'm like they're pretty comfy <laughs> <laughs> But okay guys We got an early flight to catch tomorrow and we're not done Packing yet and, and we, we also need to get plain snacks and we need to have our goodbye pizza dinner because you know what I'm gonna be missing the most Italian food um, But yes, thank you for watching guys. Sorry if this video is like all over the place and watch the true cost if you have not and If you are going on flights and if you do travel again consider going to my climate and sites like that to compensate For what you're doing because we're all responsible for this Be respectful. Don't police each other, please. Let's just be nice. Yes Okay from last time in Germany, tschüss! Tschüss!